Hello, I'm Richard Nickel, founder of Pittsburgh Modular, and today I'm going to quickly, hopefully, walk you through the features of the Dynamics Controller Bat. The Bat is part of our fourth Safari series of limited production modules meant to highlight interesting new concepts or test ideas for future instruments. The Dynamics Controller is typically used as a replacement for a VCA or a VCA and envelope pair because it gives us control over multiple dimensions of sound at once. Imagine if you could add sustain to a drum hit or pluck a sine wave. That's kind of how the Dynamics circuit sounds, round and multi-dimensional. This circuit is really useful for creating dynamic percussive strikes or placing sounds within a space by adding weight and depth to less complex sources. The Dynamics Controller Bat is a modern interpretation of Don Buchla's low-pass gate that both solves some problems and expands on the functionality of the original. What is a low-pass gate? Unlike a VCA, which simply changes the loudness of the sound without modifying the harmonic content, the low-pass gate circuit uniquely simulates the characteristics of how sounds interact in natural environments in two ways. First, when used in low-pass gate mode, louder sounds contain more harmonic content and quieter sounds contain less harmonic content. The result is a more organic, complex, and rounded sound. This means that as sounds get quieter, the harmonic content is rolled off to muffle or deaden the sound. Second, low-pass gates add a very natural sounding decay tail that adds a sense of depth or space to a sound. Don Buchla's original low-pass gate was limited to a static decay time that varied from unit to unit. For better or worse, this made each low-pass gate a little bit different. Our research has allowed us to solve this issue by creating an analog emulation of the troublesome components. It modernizes Don Buchla's concept by replacing the single static response with a variable length, voltage controllable decay tail that both reproduces and expands on the original, allowing the response of the module to adapt to any musical context, from short and plucky to long and spacious. Adding resonance is another way we have expanded beyond the original low-pass gate. Our unique resonance circuit is tuned to highlight the harmonics as they are rolled off without sounding overly resonant. This enhances the ability of the bat to place sounds in a more lively, natural sounding environment. When we started our research, our goal was to simply replace a few troublesome components with more modern, flexible analog circuitry. However, our experiments took us much further from the original low-pass gate circuits than we originally anticipated, and what we ended up with is a completely new, extremely musical tool to process sound that's not really a low-pass gate at all. Calling our new signal processor a dynamics controller is both an homage to Don Buchla's amazing creation, but also allows us to highlight that this is not a clone, but a unique and powerful processor all its own. Okay, let's talk about the patch. We have the Captain Big O here right behind my head. That is the wave folder coming out of that into the dynamics controller. And then we're just going out of the dynamics controller into my audio interface. So that's as simple as it can get. We are plucking the dynamics controller with my key step. And we have some voltage control coming from the ADSR into the dynamic CV, although that is off right now. So we are just using the pluck input. So it's taking the gate from the key step. You see if we use the dynamic control, if you're using it like a VCA, this could be thought of as a pass through. And if you're using it as a filter cutoff, as a filter, this would be your filter cutoff. Get a little sequence going here. So now we have the response. This is the decay length. Nice and long to nice and short. That is voltage controllable. I can stick the triangle wave in here. Then we have our additional resonance.
and at full resonance, it will drive a little bit. But the resonance is never meant to be overwhelming. It's really just meant to help shape the sound. That is low pass gate mode. We also have VCA mode. So if I switch to VCA mode, you get a very different response, a very simple response. Now we will turn the ADSR on. And you're gonna get a much more traditional VCA. And you can hear that it's letting all the harmonics pass through all the time, like a cookie cutter, and simply turning the volume down on the sound. And it does go completely off, so it will get totally silent. So we'll switch back to low pass gate now that we're using the ADSR. And you can hear the response is very different. We'll add some complexity to the sound here. You can hear how much more dynamic the sound is. And as we reduce the input of the ADSR, we end back to our our pluck. And we can blend in as much or as little that as we want. And that can also be, instead of using the ADSR, if we use the function generator here, cycling, the pluck and the CV don't have to be the same thing. You can get some nice subtle effects out of that. Switch back to VCA, you can hear the difference. tour of the Dynamics Controller. Uh, thanks for watching.